This is 1536 Enclave Way. Uh, Kathleen, I'm sorry, Catherine Tomasino is allowing me to take a little view of this home. Uh, this is going to be a three bedroom, three, four bath house with two car garage. Backyard is facing north and it is a one owner home. Let's go in and take a look. All right, we have a front courtyard. This is gonna be a cemented area and they've put a, uh, a little area out here to sit and have a fire. You can see the amazing views that are to the west. This particular courtyard is going to be somewhat protected when the winds are coming from the north end, which they do a lot. You can kind of see the direction of the wind right now with the breeze that's going on. This is the entrance to the community. So this particular road is how everybody will come through to get to these homes. There are really not that many. And then as I go around, you can see Catherine getting things set up for us. And here's our front door, which we will go in. All right, we've walked into the living room and I am corrected, this is a two bedroom, but it has the potential to actually be a four bedroom. The way it lays out is you've got the living room and then a really nice big open kitchen uh, and dining room. This, these have higher ceilings in this space. Um, and then outside, we have a larger yard. I'll get out there in a bit, but there's an area out there that could be green space. It's done with stones, nice big pool. And then that continues out towards the west end. As I swing around, you're going to see where the fireplace is located, hallway where the entry is, so that's where I started the video. And then as I came, come around, there's a den here, uh, which has great light. This den could be uh, a casita. That's one of the options that you had when you were, you were buying this particular home. So it is a option for someone to use this as a bedroom, but it does not have a closet, It is technically not a bedroom but it has some really spectacular views. This is looking west. And as I come around, we're gonna go over to the kitchen and take a look at it real quick. Um, this are all the original finishes from when they were first built. So you can see that the tile selection does sort of fall in line with, uh, with what would have been done when this was built. I don't have the sheet directly in front of me. I think it's right around 2006. Uh, great size for the kitchen. All developer grade in here and nicely kept. And then you can see the look that goes outside. Let's actually step out there and take a look. All right, the sliders to my left go to the living room. So when we came in the front door, we would have been looking out those windows. This is a covered area and then an uncovered area. Big yard, lots of space. It's been done as a desert scape. So if you wanted to have more of a lush thing, you could go about doing that. Fountains here into the pool. This does have a spa. And then we have a really nice second yard area over here off of the kitchen. So I've stepped to the northwest corner of the yard so you get an idea of the space that's around the home. Uh, this is off of the master side and the master is has a seating area off of it like a, its own living room which actually could have been another bedroom or a third bedroom. So that's where you would add the third bedroom to this particular home. You can see there's quite a bit of space out here and the pool is really nice. From the front door, if we had turned left, we'd go down the hallway that goes to the master bedroom. The first door that we're going to find off of here is the powder room. That's me, Mark Kowski, markgps.com. These are nicely set up. I mean, it's, it's right off of the main living room group, so it makes a lot of sense. Uh, as I come around, you're going to see an entry into the master suite. Uh, this area with the spinning fan is what would be a third bedroom if you wanted to close it off, and then the master would be beyond. As I keep coming around this hallway, we're gonna have uh, a connection to the other bedroom. So here you go, this is bedroom number two. And this has a nice front orientation so you can see the patio and it is en suite. So it's got uh, a very nice little bathroom. Again, it's all, all built at the same time um, or it's all developer grade from the from when it was first built in excellent shape, nice size. And now we'll go back to take a look at the master. So those are the double doors where I was standing on the other side saying this could be a bedroom. This is a sitting room office for the master. And as I swing around, you'll see that the wall there with the picture goes to the master bathroom. And then we have the actual master bedroom. So uh, whether you took the front court, the uh, front den and made it into a bedroom or you were to recapture this sitting room off of the master you could easily convert this into a three bedroom house as I swing around you'll see that whole sitting room would make a lot of sense possibly as another bedroom 
And then as I come around, you're gonna see the very large, nicely appointed bathroom with big closet and nice bathtub shower situation. Okay, well, that's it for this particular home. I'll leave you with a small picture of the pool. And if you have any questions, just feel free to contact Mark. MarkGPS.com is where my information is listed.